Well, in this video, we would like to take another look at uh, an excellent enhancement in the DCS World uh, comm system. Particular software by Mr. Fisher called uh, DCS Simple Radio Standalone. And if you get a minute, I uh, recommend uh, Googling it or YouTube it. It's an excellent enhancement to the uh, comm system. I made a video before talking a little bit about it, but it has some other neat features I like to cover in this video. Like, for example, it can simulate uh, loss of transmission due to line of sight blockage or distance limitation. So it adds uh, realism to the comm system. And uh, so I, take, I like to take a look at some of those features. And just to go over our setup real quick, um, uh, this represents uh, first aircraft. This is the second aircraft. And basically we have a second computer connected up through multiplayer. And we have a, inside the, the uh, headset jack, we have a headset plugged in. And if we follow the cord, Ooh, we just have a generic, we just have a generic uh, headset, uh, you know, playing uh, a generic song from iTunes. So that represents our output from our second iPhone. So, um, so uh, this is X55. It's a uh, Kind of program to mimic a A10 Hodas uh, setup, and this rubber band here uh, remain tension if you push down on the button here. So we'll give it a tug down, and that represents push to talk for the UHF radio. So now that we're broadcasting on that second bird, we can hear it on the first bird through the headset. So we have. Uh, we have uh, audio coming in. And the reason that we do hear the audio, both aircraft have the exact same configuration settings. So we're on the same frequency and the KY-58 is set up the same. If any of those are not set up correctly, then the audio won't go through. Um, if you look at the aircraft number two, you can see the A-10 has three radios, the AM, the UHF, and the FM radio, and the green button tells us that we're transmitting on the UHF radio. And on this, that's the first aircraft, and on the second aircraft, well, that's the second aircraft, and on the first aircraft, we can see that we're receiving a transmission on the UHF, because we can tell by the text, it's uh, the white text. But if we do something like, for example, if we move that to the wrong encryption setting, the audio goes out because this is not set correctly. And if you go through your dials and you, as you change your settings, for example, you can see your uh, settings on your text box there. Um, so we'll set it back to number four. And it comes back. Uh, this selects what radio you want encrypted. This is UHF, and this is none, and this is FM radio. And as you turn this knob, you can see that we're on the FM radio. And I can go to none and back to UHF. So you can see which radio you have your encryption set to. And also, like your mode has to be in operating mode, like the load or the remote variable. If we, if we move it into those positions, you won't get audio because it has to be in the operating mode. Like for example, if we turn it there, Audio should kick out in a second. There it goes. We lost the audio. And I'm going to turn it back to operating mode. And after a few seconds, 
the audio comes back in. Now, same for UHF. If we if we turn this off. After, I think I got some delay going to my uh, server. Okay, so with the radio off, of course, we won't get any transmission because the radio is off. So if we turn the radio back on, the audio comes back. The same for your frequency. If you mistune the frequency, you won't have any audio unless you match the frequency that's being broadcast so we're back to 251 okay so we went over that a little bit before so let's test the uh, other feature let's test the uh, line of sight so what we'll do so we have a nearby over here we have a nearby mountain range just over there so we'll uh, about one click away we'll uh, take a hop and a skip over there and see how it affects the comm system turn on the environmental sounds a little bit So let's uh, go ahead and take off. Okay. Let's roll. Disengage nose wheel steering. It's my airspeed. If you're fast enough to give her some positive pitch angle. standalone and uh, if you're flying with a squad or something like that you can actually use your real 
radio frequencies in their aircraft for certain members to uh, communicate to each other. And uh, some of you guys are sharing the same calm frequency. Then you have a further option of using your encryption so that uh, you're not picking up audio you don't want to be hearing. Okay, so... Coming up on this mountain ridge here. Just about. Now the text is white, which means we have somebody on comms with us. So we have a good line of sight right now with this altitude. And the other aircraft is still have this push to talk, it's still transmitting. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn down the environmental sound. Turn those all the way down so that we can just hear our headset. Now let's take a look behind this mountain ridge and see how it affects comms. bit difficult to fly looking over the phone. I can hear the comms cutting out a little bit. I think I think we okay now it's still there. It's definitely gotten lower. Alright it just dropped out. Now it's come came back. Alright just lost comms. And that's due to the blockage from the uh, ridge here. And as you can see, we're not getting uh, a message through because the text is no longer white. So I'm gonna gain altitude. Let's try to. This part's a little difficult. Those blotches on the mountain ridge there is where I impacted the top of the ridge before. This is a tall mountain and it's hard to climb over without stalling. And it's stalling again on us. Can't climb it. Well, I think we demonstrated that uh, you do lose comms due to line of sight blockage. So uh, I guess we'll call that a wrap.